Google Moderator is a back-channel communication tool designed with large audiences in mind. Audience members can submit questions, which are then voted on by other participants, and the presenter can identify and answer the questions that most people want to know more about. However, Moderator can also be a great tool for classroom use. It gives all students an equal voice in a discussion, and teachers are not limited to simply having students submit questions. Students can add ideas, interpretations, or predictions. Peers can vote on those ideas, and the most popular rise to the top. To use Google Moderator in your classroom or for a training or meeting, access Moderator from our Jeffco Google Apps login page. Or type google.com slash moderator. You will be delivered to your Moderator homepage where you can view existing series that you've already created or make a new one. Let's create a new series. Give your series a title. and click Create. Moderator strives for quick setup, so essentially that's it. You're all set and can send the link to participants and begin taking questions. But you may wish to adjust a few things first. For example, maybe you don't want participants to be prompted to submit a question. Maybe you'd like this to say something else. You can adjust this by selecting the Home button and then choosing Edit Series. I can change the title of my series and the description. I can require that all submissions be held for moderation approval instead of just appearing live in the stream. I can decide who can see and participate in this series here. By default, my series is limited to users with Jeffco Google Apps accounts, but if you want to include others outside our domain, you can change that to anyone with the link. Participants will still need a Gmail account, but not necessarily a Jeffco Google account. I don't recommend the public setting because then just about anyone with a Gmail account can find your series and pop in unexpectedly. Everyone must log in to access the moderator series, but if you want to let users post comments without their names attached to it, you can put a check mark by the box that says, let people submit questions anonymously. And finally, if it's not questions you expect users to submit, you can change this to ideas or suggestions, which will change the prompt your users see. You can change the topic area as well. When you're done, save your changes. Now you're ready to invite others to your series. Use the share button to do this. Post this link on a website or email it to participants. It's also pretty short, so you could post it on a whiteboard in your classroom as well. Let's use the View Suggestions button to get ready to moderate our series. I can submit a suggestion myself or watch for others to come in. As comments roll in, everyone can give them a yes or no vote. The most popular responses will rise to the top of the moderator stream. If I'm projecting the moderator series to my group, I may wish to switch to presentation view for a cleaner look. If you can't see it, just close the suggestion area, and here's the link. Moderator is a quick and easy tool for increasing interactivity and participation in your classroom or training. Try it out. You might be amazed at how the discussion evolves differently when face-to-face -face interactions are enhanced with this tool.